Let's get to the very big headline. I'm showing it here. You can see it right here. It's called Lance Admits to Vile Betrayal. You'll see a lot of the Live Strong bracelet. Live Strong Lie Long, perhaps. Some are calling it the greatest deception in sports history. Justice Department officials are now recommending the department join a federal lawsuit against the disgraced cyclist. Armstrong admitted to doping in a no-holds-barred interview with Oprah on Monday. And ABC's Neil Karlinski, who had covered the twists and turns in Armstrong's story for years, is in Seattle with the very latest. Neil, good morning. Elizabeth, good morning. Could it really be all about the money? Sources tell ABC News the federal government is likely to join a whistleblower lawsuit against Lance Armstrong this week, seeking to recoup millions of dollars paid to sponsor his cycling teams. It would be the costliest case against Lance Armstrong by far and his biggest headache going forward. This morning, sources say the lying is over after a decade of denials. I have never doped. Even lawsuits and vicious attacks against his detractors. I've never taken performance enhancing drugs. Sources tell ABC News that Lance Armstrong now admits he really was on more than just his bike. Not only did Armstrong admit doping his way to seven Tour de France victories in his emotional Oprah confession, taped on Monday and airing later this week, sources now tell ABC News Armstrong is in talks to possibly repay some of the millions of dollars the U.S. Postal Service paid to sponsor his team, money the federal government is already considering suing to get back. Betsy Andreu and her husband Frankie were close Armstrong friends for years before being attacked by Armstrong for refusing to lie. I never thought that this day would come. And it's very hard what he's done, but it's not enough. He was aided and abetted. He did not do this on his own. Even more stunning, sources say Armstrong is considering finally coming clean to U.S. anti-doping authorities, even naming others involved with beating the drug tests and maintaining the myth. Everything that's been happening in the last week is self-serving and it's all about salvaging what's left of his brand. During a day that included a tearful apology to the staff of his beloved Livestrong Cancer Foundation, a reporter found Armstrong out jogging. He was quite relaxed, he told me he was calm and at ease and ready to speak candidly with Oprah Winfrey. This morning, his victories, his fans, his reputation are all gone. Officials say Lance Armstrong beat cancer only to lose his way in a ruthless game of win at all costs. So what now? Armstrong flew from his home in Texas to a house that he's been staying in in Hawaii overnight, where he will likely watch this interview play out like the rest of us.